Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the Akim that's doing this work in sincerity and truth. And um, just want to get into a quick little discussion um, about um, this uh, former president, uh, uh, Ronald Reagan, where he had declared um, the Bible as the law of the land. Okay? And um, the thing is now, I just want to play a quick little clip from it. All right? The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. I hope Americans will read and study the Bible in 1983. It's my firm belief that the enduring values, as I say, presented in this page have a great meaning for each of us and for our nation. The Bible can touch our hearts, order our minds, refresh our souls. Now I realize it's fashionable in some circles to believe that no one in government should order or encourage others to read the Bible. Encourage, I shouldn't have said order. That we're, we're told that we'll violate the constitutional separation of church and state established by the founding fathers in the First Amendment. Well, it might interest those critics to know that none other than the father of our country, George Washington, kissed the Bible at his inauguration. And he also said words to the effect that there could be no real morality in a society without religion. John Adams called it the best book in the world. And Ben Franklin said, the longer I live, the more convincing proofs I see of this truth, that God governs in the affairs of men. Without his concurring aid, we shall succeed in this political building no better than the builders of dead battle. We shall be divided by our little partial local interests. Our projects will be confounded, and we ourselves shall become a reproach, a byword, down to future ages. So, when I hear the First Amendment used as a reason to keep the traditional moral values away from policymaking, I'm shocked. The First Amendment was not written to protect people and their laws from religious values. It was written to protect those values from government tyranny. Right. So, his forefathers... When he's talking about the former presidents and and, 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 and men that, that set up this um these uh this government from the start of this uh country, you know, they basically um uh reverence the Bible uh because it, it profited them at the time. You see? Alright? So now fast forward into 2017, what's happening now? You know? Everything is going from away from the scriptures. You see? You have um, a lot of the uh, 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 rhetoric now um, is um, and a lot of the um, the things that are put into place are, 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 are against the scriptures. OK, starting with, with Esau's laws, you see, they're going against the scriptures, you know, and and their theologian schools and seminaries, they teach you to uh, 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 to find that that gray area. You know, and this is what is uh, 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 contrary to the scriptures. You know, the scriptures say what it says, though, but they always leave that, that gray area. This whole English language is full of gray areas, you see. But I just want to get a quick little definition of, of gray area. Basically, this is from the um, um, Cambridge um, Dictionary, which basically is just uncertainty, you know. Right? Then you have some um, some of these uh, synonyms. Circumstantial, conflicting, debatable, okay? Dispute, uh, kind of, you know, un unconfirmed and vague. See, these are a lot of these words that I've used in the English language, though, that, that they try to debunk the truth of the scriptures. You see? And Jake gets caught up in that because what is being taught in the churches is right along the lines of how Esau set it up to where, you know, this English language gives you room to, to create gray areas. The doctrine that they teach, you know, that, that Christian dogma, right, can, uh, creates uh, gray areas, you see, you know, but I got a couple of scriptures I want to bring out. 
um first scripture Isaiah chapter 8 verse 20 And it reads, To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. You see? And there is no light in the people. And you're not speaking according to this word. This is this is the truth right here. This this these scriptures is what gives us life. Okay? These are our laws. This is our testimony. You know, it's not um to where you have man-made laws this is why they had a separation between the church and state okay because man they esau edom wanted to create his own laws to go contrary to the scriptures you see you know but at one point they did reverence the bible to a certain extent because it profited them you see it profited them at the time but now when the true understanding of the scriptures is coming out on the highways and byways okay all right they knew this time was going to come so now you got these different groups and uh, uh, these are uh, um, these are uh, uh, apologetic uh, 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 ministries that are trying to come up against the scriptures and trying to create those gray areas, you know, to where, you know, the scriptures, it, it says what it says, but you want to go ahead and go into another uh, 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 type of realm. OK. All right. You want to go into that false reality. You see, you know, Jake gets caught up in that. And that's what this whole society is all about. It's all about that 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 being comfort and 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 um uh, to be comfortable in the, in your false reality and and shutting out reality. You see, you know, you want to hear smooth things. You know, you know things that they, they shy away from things being uh, 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 either black or white. You know, you want to you, you in that gray area, which which basically this philosophy, this world, is foolishness with the Most High. You know, but um you you get blinded by that. You see, you get blinded by that. This is, um, you get Psalm. Let's see. 119. And it's not here. This is Psalms chapter one nineteen, verse one oh four. Through thy precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Right, so if you're not coming in through the scriptures, you know, um, it's a false way, you know, and 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 through the scriptures is where we get our understanding, you know, we get our understanding for the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you see, okay, you know, but like I said, but but soon to um, um Isaiah, chapter uh, eleven verse three, you know, wisdom give a man of of quick understanding, you know, basically uh, uh paraphrasing, you know. Uh, uh, um, the, uh, um, quick understanding the, the, to, to fear the Lord, you see, right, right, and it, it teaches them also to a man to not to lean on your own understanding, you see, you know, like like I said, this word is for the elect only, you know, but you have a lot of people that that want to create gray areas. Even you have people in the truth that create gray areas in this thing of ours, you see, they want to uh, 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 bring up. Oh, but what if, and, uh, 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 you know, that's not talking about that, you know, or, you know, uh, what are the phrases they use though? You know, uh, oh, that, that's a, 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 a false interpretation of that. You see, you know, all, all this is the, all that is the way, way of Satan, you know, cause you're going against the scriptures. You see, you know, you want to create those gray areas though, with st instead of dealing with what's said in the scriptures, just say, how about Shimmy, I was shy, you know, you know? This is um this is Matthew 
chapter 5. Verse 37. And it reads. This is Matthew chapter 5 verse 37. Let your communication be yea, yea, nay, nay. For whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil, right? So you have to let your, you have to be in that black and white area, man. It's either it's a yay or it's a nay, okay? It's not no gray area in between, you know? Because anything more than these come of evil, you know? Come of wickedness, you see? You know? But um, I want to grab real quick, I want to grab the... um. The prologue to Sarak. Just the prologue to go to go to show you where where we're at now and and the whole thing, the whole premise of uh this language that we're dealing with here, you know? Because this language is what puts in puts in a lot of confusion, you know. Dealing with this language, you know. This is the prologue to um, Sirach, chapter one, verse one. Wherefore, let me entreat you to read it with favor and attention, and to pardon us, wherein we may seem to come short of some words, in which we have labored to interpret. So. This is uh, basically um, this being having this book being put together though it was it was much labor by our forefathers to um, to to interpret it to take it from uh, um, our original language and then to put it into the language of, of English you know reading on for some things uttered in Hebrew and translated into another tongue have not the same force in them and not only these things, but the Lord itself and the prophets in the rest of the books have no small difference when they are spoken in their own language. You see? So there's, it's, a, it's a huge difference. You know, it's not no small difference though, you know? So like I said though, they, they, they with, with, with diligence and, and travail to interpret these, these scriptures, you know, and, and, and with great watchfulness and skill, you know, you know, and that space to bring the book to an end, you see, to uh, 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 to them which in a strange, strange country are willing to learn, being prepared before and managed to live after the law, all wisdom cometh from the Yahweh and is with him forever. So the whole premise of this language, which is which is destroying our people was because now with the uh, uh, uh the whole philosophy of, of Esau and Edom, you know, comes to infiltrate into the truth to where it comes up against the truth, you know, all right? They, they, their philosophy and what you are, what you um, grew up on as far as learning in school, in their, their uh, school system, okay, now creates that gray area, you know, and that's what, that's where we are today, you know, and it's only for the elect, and only the elect is going to get it, you see, you know, let me get, um, bear with me, let me get Romans, chapter 7, Verse 12. Wherefore, the law is holy and the commandment holy and just and good. So this is our heritage right here, you know, and, and now you have it to where you have these other these heathens that's trying to come up into this thing of ours or trying to argue with us or debate us with our heritage, you know, 
this is what how 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 it's come to this this uh uh uh, uh, uh scenario now with us is now we have to sit here and we have to we have to fight for our heritage of a book that belongs to us okay because of the, this christianity dogma okay that's been put in in, uh, in the earth okay now we have to uh, uh uh show forth you know through the scriptures though that the book is only talking about you so-called negroes latinos and native americans you israelites this book is only concerning you people you know but now it comes it's come to the time to where we have to defend the gospel okay and to uh uh, uh shut out all of that 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 rhetoric that was taught man to, to to create those gray areas you see you know let me get um let's see Let me go back into uh, the Apocrypha. Okay. This is Sirach, chapter five. Verse 9. Winnow with not every wind, and go not into every way. For so doeth the sinner that have a double tongue. Right. So that double tongue is, is, is um, among our people, and it's also among Esau. Okay? Because now he's considered a hypocrite now. Because now, first, you want to... Uh, Declare the, the the Bible, the Holy Bible, to be the law of the land, you know. And now, what you do is you put out all these philosophies that 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 stray away from the truth, you know. You know, you got all kinds of doctrines that's out there, you know. And not just dealing with just the scriptures, though. You got all these these, these false religions, okay, and these and these philosophies, okay. You know, as far as our, 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 you got doctrines coming up against how the earth was made or who created created the world. You know, you know, verse 10, be steadfast in thy understanding and let thy word be the same. All right. You got to be steadfast in your understanding, though, in, 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 in your word when you speak and know, you know what I'm saying? You got to be steadfast in your speaking, you know, and speak with understanding. You say, you see, you know, be swift to hear and let thy life be sincere and with patience give answer. And if thou hast understanding, answer thy neighbor. If not, lay thy hand upon thy mouth. And you got a lot of people out there that 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 are not uh, following this 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 one scripture right here. You know, you know. If you have understanding, you answer your neighbor though. But if you don't, you lay your hand upon your mouth. And there's a lot of people that shouldn't be talking. You know, that that concerning the scriptures, then that they shouldn't be talking. They shouldn't be uh, 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 preaching. You see, you know. Uh, so-called doing the work, you know, verse 13, honor and shame is in talk and the tongue of man is his fall, you see, and, and that'll, that'll destroy, that'll, that'll condemn a man by his talk, by his uh, speech, you know, he can, he can, he can, he can be condemned by, by what comes out of his mouth, you see, and, and that's what this, these scriptures, and that's what this, this, this truth is doing. You know, anybody coming up against this truth or anybody that has a, 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 a doctrine other than what we teach here at GMS, Great Millstone, you see, you know, it is, is, is going to be the, the, the um, is, is going to be uh, uh, the fall of you. You see, let me um, get some rock, stay in some rock, let me get uh, chapter 20. Verse 19, an unseasonable tale will always be in the mouth of the unwise, you know, and that's what's going on now with a lot of these other groups out here, you know, 
An unseasonable tale will always be in the mouth of an unwise. You know, what's an unseasonable tale? Debate, trying to debate saying that the mark of the beast is not the chip. That's an unseasonable tale. Okay. One is one unseasonable tale is or lack thereof is not speaking on these prophecies. Okay, you know you're not you're not you're not uh, 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 talking about judgment that's coming to this place. You know, you know you're not in, even in the season to be speaking about that. You know, you know, uh, mirth, having mirth, having fun. You know that's an unseasonable tale, and you try to go through the scriptures and prove that. You know. You know, but that's like I said though, that's uh, un, what that's all those examples of unseasonable tales, and they're gonna always be in the mouth of the unwise. You see, you know. Um, let me jump down to twenty-four. A lie is a foul blot in a man, yet it is continually in the mouth of the untaught. You know, and hey. That's Edom Esau, you know, and our people follow behind us right here, you know, you know, they, yet it is continually in the mouth of the untaught, man, it's lies, you know, okay, and that's a foul blot upon a man, and that's in the scriptures, you can't get around these scriptures, you know, you know, the, the, a lie is, is that you don't want to take the scriptures for what it is, you know, but then you always want to create that gray area, you know, that that uncertainty or, or, or what if, and, and, you know, you use these different English words, Okay, all right, you know, like I said, you know, when you when we spoke our, our original language, though, everything was straightforward to the point, you see, you know, unlike here with this bastard language, though, you know, you have uh, uh, one word that can mean different things, and you can have the same sounding word, but spelled differently and mean different things, you see, so, so this, this language is all messed up, you know, but but we have um, grace and mercy from Yahweh Bashim Shai that these scriptures are, are um, that through the Spirit that we able to uh, 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 get the proper understanding, you know, and 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 and, and be able to uh, 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 Salakia losing my train of thought though. But we're basically able to uh, convince the the, um, the gainsayers, you know, if if that if they are of the elect, you know. But but the, the point is is that you know the, the the whole thing is is with this with these scriptures man is is um this right here man this is this is the truth right here you know and Esau has a setup to where he has people that are coming up against this this truth you see you know you know it says um verse twenty five it says a thief is better than a man that is accustomed to lie, but they both shall have destruction to heritage, you know, and, and, hey, it says, hey, the thief come up some other kind of way, you know, pursuant to John the 10th chapter, you know, uh, you know, but it says that they both shall have the destruction of two heritage though, you know, and, and our people are, are, there, there are people that are accustomed to lies, you're accustomed to lies. And you will defend the lie. You don't have no 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 basis on on your uh, 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 false understanding. And you you can try to come up against the scriptures though. But then if this ain't the truth, then what is the truth then? You see, you know, you know, you go off of, of emotions. You know, you know. Then um, rather than come and do the proper channels, you know, to get the full understanding of of Yahweh Hashem Shai. You know. So with that. I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the Akim doing his work. This is Savior and Truth. Shalom.